Welcome to this week's edition of the Fordham Ram Roundup with the Fordham baseball team and head coach Kevin Layton. Kevin, uh, just over the halfway point of your season, 17 and 12, three and three in the league. Um, how have you seen kind of the start of conference play go? You've been in pretty much every game uh, so far, just to have them come out on the right side in a couple. Uh, but how is the team feeling so far through those first two weeks of conference play? Yeah, you know, I think, um, you know, we've had a couple where we, you know, could have won. Um, a little bit frustrating to uh, to lose some of those games, uh, especially when you're up late. Um, but, you know, that's baseball. It's how, you know, things sometimes shake out. So, um, you know, I think the guys are working hard. We're playing hard. Um, you know, the, the things that we talk about, you know, we can we can handle the physical mistakes, the mental stuff we got to limit. And um, I feel like for the most part, that's what we've done. So far this season, pitching has been the biggest strength of this team in the top 10 in the country in ERA, as well as strikeouts per nine innings. How is it being a coach that pretty much on any given day, the guys you're rolling out there out of the mound are going to give you that opportunity to win? Yeah, I think uh, for, for our team, um, you know, it gives our offense a little bit of breathing room to know that, we, you know, we don't have to go out there and score eight every game. Um, you know, so watching those guys compete is awesome. Uh, we've had some tremendous pitching performances. Uh, I think a lot of stuff goes in, in waves, and I think our offense is starting to click. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things we just uh, challenged the guys a little bit last week. I mean, we've, we've done really well on the mound, but, you know, I want to see us do better. Um, so... It's one of those things that we just keep working on and, uh, you know, hoping that it's always there for us. So, Individually, two players that really uh, were the premier players in the month of March, John Stankwitz on the mound and Jake McKenzie at the plate. Stankwitz, two-time A-10 pitcher of the week. McKenzie hits over 400 for the month of March and uh, currently after yesterday's game is leading the league, uh, leading in the nation in stolen bases. Can you talk a little bit about those two guys and how they've really stepped up and, and become leaders on this team? Yeah, Jake is a dynamic player. I've said it over and over. I mean, the kid, uh, you know, he could beat you in so many different ways uh, offensively. Um, you know, if you pitch around him uh, and he works a walk, I mean, he's going to steal second and steal third, and there's not much you could do about it. Um, if you challenge him, he's going to hit you. So, uh, you know, most of the time he, he's uh, put together a really good at bat, hit the ball hard. Um, you know, I think other than early season stuff where we faced some really good pitching the first weekend out, um, he's done a really good job uh, of putting together really good at bats. And, and when he gets on base, we score. Uh, obviously, when we score, we got a good chance to win with, like we just talked about, with our pitching. So, um, he's one of those guys. Just a multiple threat, um, you know, with his legs, with his bat. Um, you know, he could do so many things for our offense. So, um, my biggest fear with Jake coming into this season was, you know, kind of trying to live up to uh, last year's success. And, you know, so far he's lived up to it and he's topped it. And, um, you know, really happy for what he's done. So. Um, and Johnny, I mean, Johnny's just competed on the mound, just throws strikes, just challenges hitters. Um, you know, he's throwing three, sometimes four pitches for strikes. Um, you know, I think he's the best example of uh, a pitcher. Um, you know, he's not always blown it by a guy. Um, he knows how to pitch. Uh, his walks are way down. Um, so he's given us a chance every time he's been on the mound, and um, you know, that's what we like to see out of our pitchers. So. Start our player interviews with sophomore infielder Jake McKenzie. Jake, coming off an outstanding month of March, hit over 404 the month of March. How are you feeling as you head into that third month of the season into April where you're getting right into the thick of conference play? Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling pretty confident. Uh, I've been keeping everything kind of short to the ball, um, seeing the ball well, getting pretty good pitches to hit early in counts and capitalizing on them. So we're feeling pretty good as a team coming in. Um, we've had some really close conference games, but – I think we're pretty optimistic for the uh, the rest of the year in the conference play. On top of yourself, the pitching staff has just been absolutely lights out all year long, leading the league in ERA and strikeouts per nine innings, top 10 in the nation in both those categories. What does that do for the offense to really realize that those guys are just going to continue to throw good innings and keep throwing zeros and keep you guys in the game? Yeah, I mean, without them, we probably wouldn't have nearly as many wins as we do, but um, we just got to fight to put up runs every game because we know our pitchers are going to go out and do what they've been doing you know um if we score more than four or five runs a game we got a pretty good shot of winning with our guys on the mound so it gives us a lot of confidence as as hitters but we just got to put up the numbers to do the job 
as is every week in the Atlantic 10 Conference. It's always a big series, the next series this weekend. St. Joe's comes to town. St. Joe's always a formidable opponent against uh, against you guys. What are you expecting out of these three games this weekend? Yeah, it's going to be a battle, just like every conference weekend. Uh, they, they swing it really well this year, so hopefully our pitchers can continue what they've been doing and just minimize that. But we just got to get the runs on the board, you know, to, to give them a good battle. I mean, it's going to be tight the whole, whole weekend, so we're really excited about it. Best of luck this weekend, Jake. Thank you. We continue the Ram Roundup with our player interviews and sophomore Matt Mikulski. Matt, A-10 pitch of the week this past week, the last two weeks, 10-plus strikeouts in both of those starts. How have you seen your game develop this year in your second season with the Rams that you're starting to put up some really impressive numbers? Uh, I think the biggest adjustment I made over the summer and to now is like attacking hitters, going after everyone with everything I got, and uh, just battling out there, like facing everyone with five pitches or less. This year, the pitching staff has been one of the most dominant pitching staffs in the league, leading the league in team ERA, as well as strikeouts per nine innings, ranking top 10 in the nation in both those categories. What is it meant to be a part of that pitching staff? And I mean, it's an honor to be a part of the staff, but it's pretty much another day with these guys. I mean, we're just clowning around every day, you know, having fun with it. Um, talent will come. Like, every single game is a battle, and we know, like, whoever's on the mound, they'll put their best effort out there and win games. That'll do it for this week's edition of the Fordham Ram Roundup. Special thanks to head coach Kevin Layton as well as Jake McKenzie and Matt Mikulski for joining us. Fordham baseball taking on the St. Joseph's Hawks this weekend here at Hulan Park in a three-game 8-10 series. It'll be a Saturday noon doubleheader and a noon game on Sunday for the three games. For the Fordham Ram Roundup, I'm Scott Kwiatkowski, and we'll see you next time.